today we got a question from Sarah who's asking for my biggest piece of advice that I would give to a white belt like her who's struggling to retain techniques and information. So check this out, Sarah. I'll give you the advice that my wrestling coach gave to me. It served me well in wrestling and it served me well in jiu-jitsu. I think I've said it on the channel before, but it doesn't hurt to repeat myself because it's a damn good lesson. So when I first started wrestling, I remember our coach told us to all the new people coming in, all the new athletes. He said, listen, there's going to be a lot of stuff you're going to have to learn. A lot of stuff you're going to learn. A lot of techniques you're going to be taught. You don't need to remember everything. What you need to remember is three things. A takedown, a pinning combination, and an escape or reversal. You just need to become good with one of each one of those three things. And you can win wrestling matches because those kind of address the three main positions in wrestling. And so he said that. And I took that to heart. And I remember in wrestling, it served me very well because there were times where I was faced against other wrestlers who were much more experienced than me. I remember one time going to a camp my junior summer going into my senior year. And I remember there was this one guy that I got partnered with. And this dude at this camp was from another school, um, came from a more, more affluent part of town, had a lot more resources, was going to all these different camps, and he was good. Knew all, knew all this stuff. Well, I, I, I was talking to him and he was telling me about all these different wrestling moves I didn't know anything about. Now, later on, when we we ended up competing against each other later on that year, and I, I beat him in, in a wrestling match. Now, it wasn't because he, had, he who knew more moves. He knew a lot more stuff than me. But I had my three things and a few extras that were tacked onto those down really well. And when I got to jiu-jitsu, I never had this problem of trying to remember everything. Because, <laughs> I mean, granted, I did feel sometimes like I was the stupid person in class because some of the other guys in the, the gym could like rattle off techniques like an encyclopedia. And so initially that made me feel like I was kind of stupid or slow or something. But then there was this situation where they would know a lot more stuff than me, but I knew this little handful of techniques that I found that seemed to work for me. And I really focused on those. And when we would compete... Or when we would roll, I would generally fare better than them. And so that kind of reinforced this idea. And this is what I'm trying to get to with you. You don't need to possibly remember everything. And you're not going to, especially as a white belt. Remember, it, people take decades to get good at this stuff, to really master this stuff. You're not going to do it in a couple years as a beginner, right? But one of your main focuses as a white belt should not be learning everything. It should be saying, okay, I'm trying to learn the basic positions, right? So an escape from all the major positions like mount, back, mount, side control that you can reliably use, a submission that you can focus on, a sweep from the bottom, and a guard passing sort of combination, right? Those are your basics right there. If you get those things down, you can win matches, you can beat people in rolling, and you can always add on to it. But if you have those basics down, it's a lot easier. And so what your goal, at least in my opinion, sir, should be is to focus on finding techniques that seem to work for you. And you'll know when they are. You'll know when they're like your moves. As soon as you start playing around with them, you're like, oh man, this feels really good. Let me stick with this for one for a while. And as time goes on, you'll be taught lots of different techniques. You'll learn stuff through the internet, everything else. And sometimes it'll stick, sometimes it won't. And the thing is, don't feel guilty if it doesn't. Don't feel guilty if you don't retain the information. It doesn't matter. You're not going to remember it all. A lot of times people use this idea of learning jiu-jitsu is like drinking through a hose, right? Basically, some person's got this hose on full blast and there's this jet stream of water going through, right? Well, if that analogy, if that's the analogy that sort of clicks in your head, consider this. If you're thirsty, you don't need to stick your face in the middle of that jet stream, right? You can just come off to the side and there's going to be spray coming off here and you can just catch a little bit to the side, right? You can scoop out a little bit with your hand. You don't need to put yourself in the middle of it because you can't possibly consume all of the water that's coming through, but you can catch a little bit off to the side and it'll be a much more a pleasant situation, won't it? And it's the same thing with jujitsu. You cannot possibly consume everything that's going on. It's There's so much, right? I mean, you think about the way that people are developing positions and techniques and stuff. There's just so much stuff to, to consider. So you're not going to consume it all anyway. So don't try. So instead of what you do is you say, you know what? I'm going to try to find the techniques that work for me. And that's what I'm really going to be focused on, especially as a beginner. And then I will let the other stuff come in because I'll consistently try to learn stuff. But again, I'm not going to feel bad about it if it's not my move or if I don't retain it right now. I'll give it time and let things develop over, over the course of decades because that's what happens with all of us. And so, Sarah, that's my biggest piece of advice to you. Focus on the handful of techniques that you need to cover the basics. Start with that. And if you don't retain it, don't feel guilty about it. We all forget stuff. It's normal. I forget stuff. Everyone does. And again, to be an effective jiu-jitsu practitioner, you don't need to remember everything anyway. 
So hopefully that helps you and hopefully it helps some of you other, uh, other people that are watching this because I know this is like a common white belt problem and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Mm -hmm.